Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome, welcome, welcome. We are starting a brand new series on Crusader Kings 3 on the long-awaited Tours and Tournaments DLC. Now, this DLC has implemented huge changes to the games, to the game, and I am very excited to play it. Now, for this playthrough, we have gone themed, slightly inspired by one of my favorite films, slightly possibly also hinted thanks to Paradox and them kind of bringing it up as well. But we have created Ulrich von Lichtenstein, inspired by the film A Knight's Tale and in a homage to Heath Ledger. Also, I've used some of the details. There was in fact a real knight called Ulrich von Lichtenstein who I have used some of the details from because funny enough, I can't find Gaudaland. So I have used some of the real knight's details to pick what we're doing. So let's start this right off. Obviously, I'm going to be pressing continue, but that's because I have pre-jumped in and created my character. So let's continue. And so we are starting down here in what today is kind of South Germany, basically in East Francia as Ulrich von Lichtenstein, funny enough, comes from Lichtenstein, which is somewhere in between Austria and Switzerland. I was about to say Sweden. Sweden's much further up north. Now, obviously, we've got Zurich here, which is Switzerland. Innsbruck here, which I know is Austria. So Lichtenstein is somewhere around here. So with the options available to me, because, for instance, this here is... I know that was owned by a count as well. But that's owned by a Prince Bishop. Got a couple of camps down here, but obviously Zurich I know is Switzerland. So I basically just picked one, and I am the Count of Ravensburg. I'm also the Count of Groningen, by the looks of it. And so we have our glorious Count Ulrich von Lichtenstein, who is diligent, brave, and compassionate. I feel like that quite nicely stuck with the Knight's Tale story. He is a skilled tactician. I didn't want to make him a four-star marshal because, let's be honest, yeah, he knows how to fight, but he's never been to war. So, I figured we'd make him a skilled tactician. This one got thrown in for flavor. I didn't choose that. I think that came up randomly, but I have advantage in planes, farmlands, and step. But the idea of this playthrough, I'm not going to be conquering the world. I'm not going to be becoming any kind of glorious person. I might try and push to become a king because that will open up a lot more of the new activities for us which of course i very 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 much do want to experience the idea of this one is just simply to play as one of the most honorable and glorious knight families in the world so obviously i won't be one character for the whole thing i will be a whole family so i intend on being the most honorable and noble and glorious family of knights there can possibly be and there will be more knight's tale themed stuff coming in as the playthrough goes on. So keep an eye out for that. So we're going to start off as we always have to. Let's find a spouse before we press play. Now I can make allies with uh, Ultrias up there. That's possibly not a bad one. So some of these I recognize as being obviously French, Italian. So potentially, although she's wrathful, fickle, and lazy, not really what you want in a glorious wife. County of Urgul, which is yet yeah, going to be down in Spain. Italy's not a bad one, and she's not bad either. She's generous, calm, and humble. We're about. Okay, it's about halfway down. Uh, nope, not going to be going for it. Although, if I went for a grand wedding, I'd be able to get maybe Duchy of Angria, High Chief of Meath. Duchy of Upper Burgundy, County of Urgel. But for instance, like, how much is a grand wedding? Grand wedding will cost me a lot of money. Like, a lot. I don't think I'm affording a grand wedding at this time. I don't think I'm affording a grand wedding at all. So we are... I, mean, I want to go Franconian because it's local. It makes most, more sense. But I think I'm actually going to go for... This one, he does have a lot more troops than me if I need to call him to war. He's not ridiculously far away. He is quite far, but it's not ridiculous. Well, except with a score of one. 
and oh, so let's put it in. We got a medium chance of children, no congenital traits. This has even this little screen has changed slightly, and there is zero prestige gain from her, but I get two hundred. So loving that. But let's sort out the problem of a wife. I am going to choose to be Marshall, and we are going for prowess because we intend on doing lots and lots of tournaments. So there you go. There's another. Hostilia trait experience gain plus 5%. That's on foot. Now, of course, the Blade Master traits, etc., have disappeared. I have no player out, that is correct. From the game. As I was going to make him a legendary Blade Master, because if you again, if you remember from the film, going off that theme, no one has ever beaten him with a sword. There is no man better. However, they have disappeared, so. That is gone. There is... Oh, host a grand tournament. No, no. Oh, activity available. Grand tournament. I thought I was saying there was one going on. Oh, no, no, no. I don't wish to host a grand tournament. I am not that rich. I could call a hunt. 45 gold. Pilgrimage for 85 gold. They seem to have gotten a bit cheaper, which is nice. Although I'm possibly remembering my last playthrough where I was an empress. And they do get more expensive as you go up in rank. I do believe I remember that. Now, of course, all the buildings have been reworked as well. Reduced cost for hosting a feast in this holding. Minus 10%. Very nice. That eventually can end up at a minus 10%. Holding tax plus 2%. Temple build construction minus 5%. Okay, so holding tax... Oh no, it does keep going up. I'm looking at the wrong one. Goes up to plus 2.6. That's still the same. If we have a quick look at buildings. Walls and towers. Tax goes up a bit. Danger goes down by one. You might pass through dangerous lands. For example, deserts or swamps that impede your journey. You can mitigate the risks of danger by improving your safety. You could do this by investing in travel options or by hiring a caravan master. Okay. So I'm not sure if that's going to be danger per my region, because that would kind of make sense, or whether that's danger in overall, because I have just more safety measures. Cattle pastures looks pretty much the same. Hunting grounds gives me a... Hunt, increases my hunt success chance, which is great. Increases hostile raiding time, which I can't remember if that was on there, to be honest. Reduce cost for hosting a grand tournament if you have a barracks. Also reduces danger. Gives me a few more levies, and obviously this is one of the big changes. You are now going to be stationing your men-at-arms. So we have the plus 20% for heavy infantry and spearman damage. Militia camps, archers, and skirmisher improvements, plus again, minus danger. Archery, archery contest in this holding, minus 50%. Of course, so they will reduce things differently as well. So that's for the archery contest. That is just for hosting one in general. Joust horse race and melee if we have the stables, and then improves your light cavalry and heavy cavalry. Enables superior mounts travel options, which increases your speed. Increases your army and movement speed, and then the blacksmith reduces the cost of having jewels. Just whatever your men at arms is, they get 10% attack. Tax holdings plus 4%. Never reinforcement rate plus 10. Night effect numbers plus 1. Now, of course, most of this I will not be able to build. I'm not that rich at this point. But So this is supposed to make the building in your county more focused, which I can see how it does, because, for instance, I mean, I would very much like to get stables, which will help my men-at-arms. However, I'm not generally choosing or hoping... I'm going to end up in a war anytime soon. I mean, I'm not going to choose to go to wars anytime soon-ish. Like I said, I'm also not hoping I end up in one. But grand tournaments are something that I very much want to be able to push. So, for instance, dual contest in this holding, minus 50%. Also increases my holding taxes by 4%, which is quite nice. It improves my knight effectiveness, my level reinforcement, and my station men-at-arms get 10%. That's quite a nice mix for what I'm trying to do. There you go, their damage and their toughness goes up by 80 and 60, which is pretty big across the board. Holding taxes plus 32%. Increases quality of sponsored inspiration. I assume that has to be of the correct type that actually needs a blacksmith. Dual contest in this holding stays at minus 
50, level of force replacement plus minus 45, nate effect, night effectiveness plus 8. So that, at the final thing, is possibly what I'm going to try and want to go to, which should synergize quite nicely with the farms and fields, which is just a straight number increase to my tax. Then as for the second one, we currently have simple passions. I'm not going to change what they originally have. I'm not going to try and rebuild. It's money's quite precious on this, especially at the beginning. So I will find something to synergize with my simple pastures. I will quite possibly track the stables in this one so I can get the increased travel speed. As, of course, then, I have plenty of other holdings I can throw down. They are, of course, also very expensive. How rich is my lord? Not that rich. I assume, however, can I part petition him for something? No, that has gone. Search for Caravan Master. I assume that's, again, one of the new positions. Physician, develop capital, capital, invite knights, or convert to the local culture. Then, of course, we have our brand new activity screen, which you've already seen because I clicked on the host grand tournament button, which I'm going to untick for now because it's just too expensive. We can obviously then go on a grand tour, but I must have at least three vassals, so that won't happen for a little while. And I need to become a duke, because obviously I can't have vassals as well. I can, but as a count, but they don't really count. Barons aren't really counted for much. Grand tournament, grand wedding, a feast, a hunt, or a pilgrimage, all of which have been reworked. My royal court, I don't have one yet, because I'm not a king, but so there you go. I'll probably look to at least become a king for that. Factions should be pretty much the same. Intrigue, I believe, is pretty much the same. Courtiers is pretty much the same. I imagine there will be a few new ones. For instance, Caravan Master increases my movement speed. Court Tutor, Master. This screen does actually look a little bit nicer, to be perfectly honest. Seneschal, Bodyguard, Bodyguard, Personal Champion, Food Taster, Master of the Horse, Royal Architect, Royal Avenue, Cat Bearer, Court Jester, Court Poet, Court Musician, and Executioner. Those are all the same. So yeah, this tab, it does look much nicer. I, I don't know what they've... They've slightly tweaked it. Oh, I suppose because it's got the little... They've added in a lot of little flavor, like the arrows and the, um, the little images, basically. So that does actually look a lot nicer. That's my courtiers. That's all the same. My lieges council, my council, that looks identical to how it used to. Military. This looks all the same on the top. However, as you can see, for instance, stuff is unstationed now because we can station people in holdings. However, I don't have any military buildings. So... Ram capital plus 10, mot plus 10. Uh, the mo Okay, so... The... Just quickly jump in here. This also gives station men at arms toughness, station siege weapon effectiveness. That is fantastic. Let's just double check this one because it's not my capital. It is almost the same. There were a few things missing there. But yes, for instance, Station Siege Weapon Effectiveness. That is one I will definitely be loving to get when I start to maybe do a tiny bit more conquering. So there you go. It is worth stationing them off the bat. I'm going to station... You guys in Ravensburg for now. And I am going to station you guys in Grunigan. So that will slightly increase their effectiveness. So that's their effectiveness. Mercenaries, this all looks the same. Holy Orders will look the same. Your armies, let's click on Knights. Obviously we do have the new Accolade system. I have no Knights that can be appointed. Of course, can invite knights. These are my current knights. They all kind of suck. We will go to look at changing that in a minute. And then the levy screen looks the same. You can't do anything to improve your levies. And then the realm screen. We do have the new regent. Who is Guntram. How dare he. His loyalty is self-interested. He does have an opinion of minus three of me due to uh, my cultural acceptance and my short brain. He is, however, on the council. And the liege, liege's sharing power. She is the duchess of my liege. Then, crown authority is the same. My liege is there. My vassals are not have any succession. Which, ah, <laughs> title's lost, because I don't have an heir. That is something, obviously, I have already gone and found myself a wife. She should turn along. Don't press play. 
and we should keep things moving. So I'm going to press play and just keep things moving on a nice steady speed. So things can start moving on. However, one thing I'm going to start to do... Oh, wow. So... Brave, compassionate, chivalry focus. Also diligent, compassionate. On the council... Ah, of course. May your union bring you happiness and fulfillment. Because... She is assisting the ruler. Is she? She looks so small. As an influential count, it is only fair that you have a voice on my council. Offer you the position of Marshal of Swabia. Fantastic. And that will get me prowess plus two. Fantastic, which is what I want. Army gold maintenance minus 10%, which is always useful. Levy size and monthly martial lifestyle experience, which is fantastic as well. Let's go back to my council. Now she has not particularly great stats across the board, but obviously every little helps. So that is hopefully what's helping with... I think I got an extra one from personal diplomacy, basically. Oh, that has paused again. So let's go back to what we're doing. We're going to see if we have any courtiers in our realm that I can basically... Yep. Let's find you spouses. Now, I believe we can get some high intrigue from... So she should turn up at my court. Excellent. Now let's go back to me and my courtiers. My marshal and knight is already married. And although what I'm really looking for is, yes, my courtier. Fantastic. So what I want is somebody with ridiculously high prowess. 24. His marshal does kind of suck, though. Can we also... I don't know if I actually... Yeah, 22... We've got no one that's uh, 21 and 12, 21 and 7, 20 and 11, 19 and 10. I wouldn't mind finding an okay mix so I can get a decent marshal as well. Although, if I go to my thing, he's... Obviously, yeah, he's not going to be a particular landholder because I don't really have one. He's only on an 8. He is... What have we got? did have so a 19 and 10 21 and 12 i think that's probably the best we're gonna get so let's marry you to him uh matrilineal so you turn up at my court at least you should send that proposal except the marriage <laughs> Okay, so he's now at my court. And he is, of course, a fantastic knight. I'm going to replace... Yep, him. Fire him. I am going to replace him. Fire him. Let's get some decent people in there. And then let's see if I can... I believe I didn't play Catholic on my last playthrough, but I'm pretty sure a Chancellor, yes, does have to be male. I did think so. So do I any chance have another female? No, she's my spy master. No, I do not. My chancellor and knight, however. Uh, diplomacy, intrigue, stewardess. Let's see if we can get a nice high learning. I can put those. I can potentially get some court positions out of that. Excellent. My knight is married. Who else we got? My wife, my courtier, who... Yep. <laughs> my other courtier, my chancellor, and knight. I've just gone and married off. Sigismund, my knight, who... Oh, is not married. Let's... What other stats... And this seems quite bad to say. What other, what other stats can women have that are going to be useful to me as a Catholic? Not prowess. I mean, intrigue and learning. Yeah. Excuse me. Not stewardship, martial, or diplomacy. Uh, so, pretty much just... I'm going to get another... Oh, in fact, obviously, let's maybe look for a couple of... Maybe a... Dickon? Um, it turns out you can only search for novice, which is interesting. Uh, Zoe, who is 33, who is a giant and has a chin that could kill somebody. Let's 
grab you. We do want it to be that way around. Let's send the proposal. And then let's go back to my character. Excellent. So we're going to have ourselves a nice physician if we need one. So who have we got? Might leave your court. You will stay if given a reason. Such as, yeah, I'm not going to make him a knight, am I? Um, if I could replace my bishop, I would, my friend. I would. Let us search for... Um, I don't know. There's going to obviously be quite a few different traits now. Let's, in fact, potentially just leave it at that. I mean, you're threatening to leave anyway, so if I marry you off, you'll probably just leave with whoever I marry you off to. And so that is the initial setup done, I'd say. We are pushing things along nicely. Now, my current situations. I'm not employing a court position. This is true. However, I did just go and... Okay, you still count as poor. Probably because you're a stabby, stabby intrigue person. Which is scary, quite frankly. Oh, I think the tournament's just turned up, so I'm just going to pause so I don't miss it. I am not endorsed by my bishop. Now, obviously, that is a big way to be getting money early, early on. So, I am going to start to sway him. I can ask my head of faith for claims on the Duchy of Upper Burgundy or the Duchy of Tuscany. Now, of course, Upper Burgundy being... Should be in Burgundy, but he's actually in Kingdom of Italy. Both of them are in the Kingdom of Italy. I know Tuscany is definitely in the Kingdom of Italy. And I've just noticed what big backgrounds have changed. Wow. Wow, he looks like he should be out of Planet of the Apes. That's that's a hell of a face they've given him. These I've just noticed the new backgrounds as well, which look absolutely fantastic. I'm still in my court, so I didn't really notice much. But I guess they are possibly already. Uh, traveling. So I can declare war on the Kingdom of Italy. Yeah, that'd be stupid. I can also now create an accolade. Because I've gotten myself a lovely new knight, I can create an accolade. Which will... What will this cost me? So, my martial and knight. Primary is tactician. Which shows me... I can make him a thug or a scoundrel. I will keep him as a tactician. And my second is uh, Valiant, I guess. Uh, it doesn't seem to want to let me change them. But no, he is not going to be the first among office bearers. Oh, no, 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 no. Let me reopen my notes. This man is going to be in... Honor of the good old what? He is going to be the great bonger. So let's create that accolade. It'll cost me a hundred prestige. That is fine. And of course. We have to unlock the rest by getting higher tiers or through innovations. Now, he is the Great Fonger. He is an acclaimed knight. He is a fearless ravener. Now, of course, there are, of course, I think they possibly have to be core positions, where your vassals also now come into kind of political stances. There are, I think, five political stances that have now been added. Okay, so this is annoying. It shows me their rank and what it's going to take. Okay, so if I... Hang on. I go to... So rank 1, he gets lifestyle experience plus 15. Men of counter fishing to see... Okay. Because he's a tactician. Yep, can you jump off my screen, please? And at rank 5... He gets further. The Organized Army Council attack occasionally boosts his level reinforcement rate. Okay, and so for Valiant, at 2, 4, and 6, I like how they've done them opposite numbers. That's quite good. Okay, rank 2, army damage plus 10. 
rank 4, Glory Hand, Hound, Vassal Opinion plus 15, and Army Damage plus 20. And at rank 6, Army Damage plus 30. Okay, very nice. That is probably what I would have chosen anyway, even without seeing the others, but it's nice that I can actually have figured out how I can see what they do. Now, there is a grand tournament going on, and of course, what I also want to see is if I zoom out, uh, not so much, there you go. We can see activities in the local region. So, here we have a grand tournament from the Serene Doge, also of Venice. Notify me when I can join tournaments. Definitely. I'm organizing a grand tournament in Veneto. We will start with a recital. A chance to show your skill to all, I warrant. A recital. I am... Okay, I'm okay on Diplomatic, but I don't think it's going to go particularly well. Um, It will take me three months to get there, and it's for a recital. Now, a recital is not really what I am strength towards. I have to leave within four days. Do you know what? How much will it cost me to join, though? Chance of danger, 1%, 14%, 32, 32, 30, 29, 35. Entourage, there is six of my entourage. Total travel time, five months. Remaining danger on route, high chance, zero. Medium chance, seven. Low chance, zero. Caravan master. Oh, we do have... Increases my speed by 13, by the looks of it. As opposed to increases my speed by four. Increases my defense by seven. I'm going to go for increasing my speed, I assume that is. Although my army movement speed is better on the top one. I am so confused. I mean, that, that, for me, indicates... Salary when travel starts 5, aptitude average, aptitude when travel starts 3. Do you know what? I'm going to go for this one, then, just because there's more defense. I am so confused. But anyway, so apparently this one's better, so we'll appoint her as... Select travel option. Higher experience, higher mercenary guards... There is no sea danger. Hire a mountaineer. Kills danger minus 31. And that will cost me two gold. I think I'm going to do that. Just because that actually then removes all danger. Select travel option. I don't think I need any more. Travel options. Superior mounts would be nice. Make haste. You have at least the impatient, craven, or reckless. I, of course, then need to build the appropriate building for superior mounts and circumspent. So I've gotten rid of all danger. Tr total travel time is five months. There is seven in my entourage. My wife, my knight. Okay. I don't think I particularly can customize my route. But let's keep that the same. Well, what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to close this for a second. Hopefully I can jump straight back in there. And I want to have a look at where has he gone? My regent. Who is loyalty is situational. Because she is deceitful. Loyalty is selfless. Also selfless. He's my he is my steward and knight. I am going to designate you as my regent, my steward. Unavailable, and this stays unavailable for 10 years. Any opinion with a higher succession score? Succession score, is that regent succession, minus 4. So anyone with a higher score than him, which will be my knight, will be a few people. Okay, so hang on. Can I change him once I'm on the go? Because... 
because let's reselect what did I want? I wanted mountains. That's all gonna be fine. Seven. Is my steward coming with me? He's not. So he will be left behind. So it's currently my wife, but she's oh my steward is coming with me. Um how can you remove people? Join because of the activity type. Okay, so it doesn't look like you can. Okay, so I would have liked to have left him behind, but we'll find someone. Join their grand tournament. Cost of five gold. My mountaineer has been hired. The Countess. It's weird. She's coming with me, so I wouldn't think she'd be allowed to be my regent. Interesting. I do like how she has now also donned a travel cloak. But let's continue to press play. And let's go to this tournament. My fellow attendee, Serene Doge, also is hosting a grand tournament. Competition in the vicinity of Veneto... And time has come for us to depart. We shall represent the house of von Lichtenstein and make the Franconian people proud. Now, I'm not very diplomatic. I'm probably not going to be very good at recitals. I need a Joffrey. Hopefully, the rest of Benito won't be as rotten as Serene Doge also. But we should still be wary of what goes down when the in the lion's den. Oh, he is a little bit deceitful. He is a charismatic negotiator and a patriarch. Destination, we will arrive in three months, currently in Ravensburg. I suppose we must. Every available unlanded knight you have will accompany you to compete in the recital. So there we go. We are slowly moving across on our travels. A foreign treat. Not the first time I catch my knight, Suppo, fiddling around with some flowers he's been picking along the road. Sometimes, I swear, I even hear him sighing, overlooking Alpsy's holding. My liege, he says when he notices, he's just a knight, notices that I've been observing him. It's not a secret that my heart has found a new home far from home. Alas, my liege, my soul aches for Countess Bertha. My desires know no end, her eyes, her hair. I long for just a salute. I'd die for a word. Please, I beg you, let me stay with her. Of course... I can't do these because, well, they're compassionate, so I'm not going to do them. I'm going to try and play to Countess Bertha joins your cause. I don't know how she can quite do that, being a count. She's, of course, married to this guy who is in... Ah, so who is, in fact... Count Guthford of Apsi joins... The court gains 10 opinion of you. And he gains 35 opinion of himself. Okay. If you insist. Who am I to interfere in higher matters? He's not a very good knight. He was my old marshal. He has been replaced. That's all good. Bank, I hear Siegmund shout in panic. Soon thereafter, I hear a loud cracking sound. Cracking sound. Sound. Like that of wood breaking or of my patience finally snapping. I step out on the, the mud to see the splintered remains of a wagon wheel. My wagon wheel. I am sorry, my liege. It was my turn as lookout and I fell asleep at the reins. Oh, dear lord, my terrible nights. Currently in Alpsy, destination three months. God's wounds were going to be late. It's delayed by five days. I'll ride rough from now on. Only delayed by two days. And I spend 75 prestige. I am happy to spend the prestige because it doesn't come off the overall level. So we will get there two days late. Because he fell asleep at the wheel. I have entered a regency. My liege has also entered a regency, it would seem. Uh, I can't... There you go. Open the message. Because he is travelling. Countess Sensor. But she is also travelling, I thought. She is with me in my caravan. She is also my region. That, I feel, is a slight bug. Because 
obviously she shouldn't be allowed to be my regent and be in my caravan. Journeying through Trent, I pass a peculiar looking tent splayed open with its yet more peculiar looking occupant inside. Come in, O oh mighty camp. I can tell you have many miles to go and I can offer you a reading of your future travels for a modest price. The strange man has piqued the interest of my entourage, but am I willing to pay for a reading? Of course, I could get good omens or bad omens. It cost me five gold. I'm just going to keep moving. I don't want the omens either way. And I actually don't want to spend the five gold because I'm going to be cheap. I only make two a month. I'm not a very rich man. And we are almost at the tournament, ladies and gentlemen. And we have arrived. Though not all the travel the revelers have arrived have yet arrived, throngs of people wander through the colourful surroundings, all looking forward to the forthcoming displays of skills and prowess. There is no time to lose. I must begin preparing. I must be a victor at absolutely any cost. I can't wait for it to start. But let's just pause this a second. That so we have a recital going on. The prize will be revealed at the end of the contest. Interesting. Your participation. You will gain trait experience and a prize if you do well. You are participating. Okay, ah, I'm already participating. Cool, so I'm going to keep participating. Qualifiers, free for all. Not quite sure. Contest, participation. Now, I have... My diplomacy is not bad. I'm on a 13. And looking at the participation, we get someone who's pretty close. Oh! Oh! He's uh, smashing us out. We've got a couple that are close, a couple that do beat me. Quite wow, the participation list is huge. And so I'm probably, I'm probably in, you know, maybe the top 10. You are waiting for the site to begin. We have three days. At this tournament, I don't know if I could change this before, to be honest. I'm here to triumph. Or I could recruit new knights, murder somebody, seduce somebody, befriend people. Or recreation. Looking for stress revealing. You're caught with new and powerful knights. At the cost of all else, this often needs to increase progress to victory, rewards, and special options and events. Do you know what? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm here to win. My knights stand assembled for the day's training, their attendants laden with Oh, I I okay. I've already, I, I wanted to have a quick look around, but I guess I'm already here. Qualification, threshold 20. You will likely not qualify. Okay. What do you know, ask humbly to be taught? What you do not know, ask. Together we represent the camp. Let us together prepare for our glory. He turns to me, eyes gleaming. Command us. This option is available because your triumph intent. Your knight scores increase moderately. Your score increases moderately. First among office bearers, gain 25 glory. That's not right. That's not what it should be called. To your saddles, I will gain the trait hostilidor, which is kind of what I want. I will lose three stress. Every knight gains that. Every knight gains three trait experience in horse and foot. Your score increases slightly. Your knight scores increase slightly. I gain the trait. Which gives me plus 10 with joint characters. In bow and wit. And every knight also gains that. Move your keenness both eye and mind. So your saddles doesn't increase my chance. Which I kind of want to do. So I'm going to do the bottom one to increase my score slightly. And also however gain the trait. Okay, so I'm currently guaranteed to qualify. I have a 24. Wow, that put me up by a 15, which was only slightly. Imagine what I'd done if I had actually done for the average. I gained the trait Hostilia and 30 days. Locale for 20 days. I cannot visit any locale for 20 days. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So that is that. So let's press play. And this happens in a day. Oh, lordy. I qualified, so I gained 75 prestige. That's a good start. The entrance mid about the main tent. Warming up vocal cords and memorizing standard stanzas as the crowd fills the amphitheater. My ears prick up as my name is mentioned. Drifting across the gentle breeze. 
That could be a good sign or a bad one. Now, I'm good with the bow. I'm great on foot. I'm okay on the horse. I'm not so good on wit. Oh, there are eight contestants remaining. Okay. Progress to victory, 16%. It is time to show the world my skill. I have to... I have a bet to place. Hmm. I'm gonna just go show, show my skill. What's this? Favoured contestant. Oh, I'm the favoured contestant. Oh, no. No, I'm not. Am I? Yes, I am. I'm sure he's the second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth. I assume I am favoured. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. It's time to show the world my skill. Let's step up to the plate. Eagleoof flashes an arrogant smirk. My way as he ascends the dais, and it doesn't take long for me to find out why. The very first line is a grave insult to me, and the rest follows suit. The sound of cheering jeering crowd fills my ears. I have no choice but to retaliate with my own poem against Egeloof's honour. My opening verse is of paramount importance. He is quite low down. He doesn't have great diplomacy. Did anybody have? We got a 2. Ooh, a 17. That could be interesting. A 9, a 10, an 8, a 0, and a 15. Okay, there's a couple. There's a couple. Okay, we're obviously not going to go for the stress one. 30% your chance your verse wins the crowd. Intrigue challenge. Oh, I suck at intrigue. Why would we go... Combine diplomacy and intrigue challenge. Learning challenge. Or diplomacy challenge. Well, the highest one is learning. So that's obviously what we're going to probably be aiming for. Learn learning or intrigue, we're not going to be... Sorry, learning or diplomacy. Not going to be pushing intrigue. It is true, Eagle of Rhymes like no other. However, I have lain with his mother. <laughs> he is a rakish lover. His mind couldn't be duller. His face couldn't be rougher. We lose 9 stress. He loses 15 opinion of me. I'm not just going to go for the highest percentage 1. His mind couldn't be duller. I can increase my score moderately for 67% chance. Let's have a go. Ooh. First wins the crowd. I got another 8%. Oh, why is that just so much? Uh, wild cheers erupt from the gathered crowd as Wilhelm finishes their recital with a flourish and a bow. The only person who isn't whistling and clapping, as it happens, myself. How could he have known? Was this planned? Or perhaps somehow by some machination of Satan, it was simply a coincidence that Wilhelm's verses ended up almost identical to my own. The assembled spectators fall silent expectantly. It is my turn. Oh no. Oh no, oh no. 47% chance. That was planned. 41% chance. He has copied my verses. Well, 47 is slightly higher, but it's not good. So I'm still on 24% chance. Wilhelm, he is in third. And obviously I assume that will be the opposite. You gain six trait experience in wit for Hostilia. Oh, please, oh, please, oh, please, give me some love. Damn it. We are still winning, but we are down on 18%. My attempt is a disaster. Five days until the recital ends. I have to hold on by five more days. Victory is so close. There are precious few competitors left to go. And even less time. It all comes down to this. One last verse. Please give me some good options, please. Oh, I didn't even get to choose, I just won. Huzzah! Trumpet sound, the crowd clamors, competitors begin to assemble. The contest is over and someone's limelight is being readied. A herald steps forward, a voice booming out across the scene. After many trials, some tribulations, and above all else, some very spirited competition, we have our final three. In third place, the gutsy King Ludwig. My king, let's hope he doesn't take it personally. Coming in close second, Zemislav. He is the caravan master of Chieftain Rodovan. Coming, and that, of course, leaves us with our victor, Count Ulrich von Lichtenstein. Who ever thought he would have won? He's clearly been taking lessons from Joffrey.
I knew I could win. I have proven my worthiness beyond doubt. I won. I actually won. I get 150 prestige. I gained 30 gold. I gain Iambic Virtuosu for 5 years. Learn language, success chance, hostilia trait, experience gain, plus 10%. Diplomacy, plus 3. Very nice. We'll receive a prize when the Grand Tournament concludes. Very, very nice. They get Rhymer, which is basically a slightly less version of... Is this supposed to be Lambic Virtuosu? Or Iambic Virtuoso? I'm not quite sure what that word... Lambic? I mean, Lambic is a word I actually recognise. I'm going to go with it being Lambic Virtuoso. So they get, like I said, a slightly, a slightly lower version. I won. I actually won. I'm engaged in the ceremony. I still can't visit anywhere, so let's just keep it moving forward. The sun comes down on the final day of the tournament, and the mass crowds begin to disperse. I find myself ruminating over the result. My master reverse saw me the worthy winner in the recital. Fantastic. I fulfilled my goal of winning a contest. I look forward to the next one. What a great occasion. I've become the owner of a prize brooch. Fertility and prestige increases. I gained zero experience in wit. Okay. Interesting. Swing Doge, also of Venice, gained 600 prestige, lost 36 stress. All qualifying acclaimed knights gained 10 glory. I don't think my knights qualified. But I gained zero trait experience in wit, even though I won. That's interesting. I have current trait experience of two. <laughs> what a great occasion. So I have six days. I assume I'm not going to be able to visit anywhere else. Ah, the ceremony. The tournament has at last drawn to a close. The effects from the grand tournament. And I have become the owner of the prize group. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. We start to go back. We have finished our first grand tournament. And we are the victor. Whoever thought that Krat Ulrich von Lichtenstein would be such a good orator. So we are traveling back. We are two months away. I'm, of course, going to go and equip my prized brooch, which gives me a bit more prestige per month. An extra point. 018 has changed by 10. Count Towers. Count Sinister spent. Let's have a quick look as to what that could mean. Oh, she is now self-interested. But she is, of course, only in... She can try and embezzle gold. This region can be ended at any time that the Liege is fully capable. She is up to a swing of 16. The next one at 25, I assume? So I'm going to it balances out at 100 out of 100. I assume it's 25 a piece. Although that does look a little bit low for under halfway, so I'm not quite sure. I mean, that would make sense, but like I said, I'm not quite sure. And of course, she is not doing anything at all. Now, of course, I will attempt to increase my spouse's opinion of myself once we have swayed this guy. And he is, of course, endorsing us and giving us a little bit more of that money. Which, to be fair, let's actually look at the county. I don't think he actually can give me any money because... You do not have a strong hunokim. You gain no levies and taxes from his church holdings. There are no church holdings. So I assume I won't gain any money anyway. Anyway, how rich are you now? 271. We're of course, the one that has disappeared off this that I seem to notice, which I keep looking for, is we can't petition our liege to do things. Or do I have to go directly to him? Uh, no. No, we can't petition our liege. Okay, well, we are going to leave episode one there, ladies and gentlemen. We are finishing on a glorious tournament and when we come back we will basically keep trying to do more of the same earning money earning glory and earning absolute fame for the von Lichtenstein family now i hope you have all enjoyed this first episode 
and I hope you can join me for the rest of the series. If you are still here at this point, feel free to hit that like and subscribe button, and remember to turn on your notifications so you see all of the future episodes. But until next time, everybody stay safe, stay happy, and stay healthy. I'll catch you in the next episode, folks.